Let me ask you this. What's the benefit of infrared sauna versus traditional sauna? Is there a benefit? So the the idea is it's cooler. You know, I, you have an infrared here? No, yeah. regular. So you walk into the infrared, it's like 155 to 158 degrees, most of them. There's mm -hmm. a couple that'll go up to like 170. Even though the air is cooler, the actual photons of light that are being released by the panels, just, you're, you're surrounded by infrared panels while you're in there, those penetrate more deeply into tissue. So you wind up getting a deeper sweat. You sweat for a longer time. You can stay in there longer because it's not quite as hot. But it, you look at like the studies out of Finland, mm -hmm. right? These these studies that show four to five year lifespan increases from a from a weekly sauna protocol of you know I think it's like four times a week for twenty to thirty minutes, uh, and the and the significant drop in dementia and Alzheimer's and a lot of these these mortality risk factors, and you look at the studies that have been done in athletes where you get almost a, an erythropoietin like like a blood doping effect from sauna exposure when done post workout right you mm. stay in there for twenty to thirty minutes post workout. All of these were done in a dry sauna. Yeah, that's but, why I use a dry sauna yeah. uh, as per Rhonda Patrick's recommendation. I yeah. just got that because she said there's no real studies like that on an infrared. There's a few metal. That, so they, they've analyzed metal and detoxification in some of these infrared saunas. And they have found that you, that you release more through your sweat. You get a deeper sweat. So if your goal is something like detoxification, then but how theoretically, is that even possible? Like better. when I'm in that, I'm fucking drenched. Like how uh, could I get more uh, out of that? Have you tried like a like try out like a thirty minute infrared versus a yeah, thirty minute dry? I have. Um, yeah. I I'm an idiot, so uh, I don't feel like I'm suffering as much. So I don't like it. <laughs> when you're in the infrared, you don't feel like you're suffering. Exactly. As much. Yeah. See, that's the thing is, and and maybe I'm jaded because when I'm in my infrared, like I've got a I've got a kettlebell in there. I've put my bike in there. Oh, I do okay. yoga in there. When I go in there at night. Actually, like I was telling you, we were talking about those those massage devices, those that so they have out there. Yeah, so yeah, right, the, the yeah. SOAS ones are like a P S O R I T. Freaking, they're like a shiv in your abs. Love those but, things, but they open up your yeah. your SOAS. They open up. You can work them out on a lot of different body parts. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, so I'll have stuff like that in there, and occasionally do body work. But I actually move. I exercise in the sauna. There's actually so a sauna that's well. designed for that. What the fuck is that called again? There's a, yeah. a specific sauna that a lot of uh, UFC guys they're, are using. They're in Vegas. Yeah, and um, they're building them in gyms. I know uh, Winkle John's gym. Mike, um, it's Jackson got like Winkle a TV gym. panel in there. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. have televisions yeah. in there so you can even watch things, mm -hmm. like watch like uh, directionals or uh, watch some sort of uh, instructional video on exercise. Uh, yeah, that's what I think they're doing is they're trying to have you do your workout. Like you look at a screen in yeah. the sauna and you do your workout while you're looking at the screen. I think it's a sauna. fit spa. I think it's called fit yeah. spa, something like that. Yeah. But the, um, the, the, the hot one that I go into, I mean, I, I sweat so much. I, I have a hard time believing I would sweat more anywhere else. I mean, I'm literally pouring sweat and I keep that fucker around 190 degrees. Yeah. So I'm, uh, I'm really it, feeling, but it, I love in an it. Ideal scenario. I would like it. I don't have a dry sauna, but I would like to get a barrel sauna. Because I have the the infrared in my basement. It's one of those big ones, like the four person infrared sauna that mm. that you can get into an exercise. You can you can yoga. have more people yeah. in there. You know, do yoga, whatnot. And I'm you know I'm six two, but I can get into like a full down dog or get into mm. a lunge or whatever. But I'd love to have a dry sauna as well. What is a barrel sauna? A barrel sauna is a it's like a big barrel. You've probably seen them before. They're um, I don't think so. They got benches on either side. They're shaped like a like a cylinder. Uh, they're, they're, they're very popular. They build up a lot of heat. I think even the shape of the barrel somehow allows the heat to be distributed more evenly through the sauna or something like that. Hmm. You know, almost, almost like a Traeger grill, mm. for example. Oh, okay. So this but, is it. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So that's, that's what so the looks barrel like sauna smoker. looks like. Yeah. So I've got, uh, what I did was I it's bought cool one looking. of those, um, those endless pools that you swim against. Jamie, go to that one in the upper right hand corner with the bubble on the outside of it. That looks fucking awesome. Yeah. You keep that sucker in your backyard. I was at a guy's house in Santa Monica wow, a couple weeks that's ago. So one cool. Of those. Cool. Look yeah. at that thing. Yeah. And it heats up the same way. There's some sort of a power source yeah. attached to that. Yeah. It's the same uh, thing. That's pretty badass. Yeah. See, I want to get one of those and just put it out in the forest where I can look out with the view. Cedar barrel sauna. Yeah. It looks fucking cool. Yeah. 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 Especially if you were in like a cold area. And you could like like that. Look at that guy's mm -hmm. got it set up looking over a lake. You could look ah, out into the snow. Serene. Yeah. That's pretty. Ah, yeah. 